Hi, my name is Samir Malik. I'm a private tutor for middle school and high school students in the Austin, Texas area. Today I'm going to be discussing how to solve combined inequalities. Now the way to solve combined inequalities is you take two inequalities with variables in them and you solve them accordingly to solve for the appropriate variable. So I'd like to show this to you by illustrating this with an example as well. We're going to go ahead and solve for this so we know that in this equation 3x minus 2 has to be greater than negative 8 which means that 3x has to be greater than negative 6 which means x has to be greater than negative 2 for this part to be true for this first half portion. Now for the second half portion we have 3x minus 2 is less than 13 so we have 3x has to be less than 15 which means x has to be less than 15 over 3 which means x has to be less than <clears throat> 5. So if we know from this inequality that x has to be greater than negative 2 or can be greater than negative 2 for, any, for this to be true and if it's greater than negative 2 this equation will be true but at the same time x has to be less than 5 for this equation to be true as well so x has to fit both requirements of being greater than negative 2 and less than 5 so we can go ahead and write x has to be greater than negative 2 and x has to be less than 5 when writing the solution set for this inequality so here I've gone ahead and showed you the way to describe combining two inequalities together.